Good morning. Just when you thought Channel 74 was done for the year, we have one more breaking story to cover. That's right, Mason. And the story is meeting the new interim superintendent of Shippensburg School District, Dr. Moyer. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Moyer. So what exactly is an interim superintendent? Well, uh, Dr. Supo is retiring, and I wish uh, him the very, very best in his retirement. And also, I'd like to say congratulations to the class of 22 and every other staff member uh, that's retiring here uh, at the uh, Shippensburg Area School District. Uh, the school board would like to do a really thorough search and involve the community, the school stakeholders, uh, and uh, they would really appreciate your feedback uh, on the survey that's out on the website right now because uh, this obviously is a really important decision. So the interim superintendent will take over uh, here in June and uh, the job will be basically to make sure that the, uh, the programs and the initiatives uh, are running well and that uh, we get a budget approved and that we uh, you know, really, really just work hard to set the groundwork for uh, the search process and for whomever is going to be the permanent uh, superintendent we really want to lay the groundwork for them to be successful come in and be able to hit the ground running and just get off to a great start and and hopefully we're uh, going to be able to find someone who is going to stay for uh, a long time all right can you tell us a little bit about yourself I certainly can. Uh, I was a teacher for uh, 10 years, high school business ed, and a school administrator in every position for 26 years, uh, including my last 10 years as a school superintendent in two, in two different districts. And then in my encore career, I, I was in higher ed at McDaniel College uh, as a part-time or a half-time uh, administrator and a half-time professor teaching two courses every semester preparing future school principals uh, so that's uh, that was really a rewarding experience and and, and frankly uh, since I was here uh, from 2007 to 2009 as an assistant superintendent that really uh, got me interested in helping out uh, Shippensburg uh, during these few months w w during the search process all right uh, what made you interested in helping us until um, a permanent superintendent is hired? Uh, the thing that made me interested in helping out Shippensburg the most was when I was here from 2007 to 2009, I had a fantastic experience and I was really impressed with the staff here. There are still many staff members here on the leadership team as well as the teaching team and support staff when I was here. So it was, it, I thought it would be really uh, cool to uh, return to this district and uh, get reacquainted with my old friends and colleagues and then uh, the excitement of getting to meet a lot of new people and frankly I, I've been very impressed with the team here uh, so so that was really my interest I, I, I thought I could help out in, uh, and I'm looking forward to it all right any final thoughts I would just really encourage this community uh, to get behind the school as much as possible. Make sure and provide feedback on the survey that's out there regarding what they feel would be the attributes that they would look for in a successful school leader, CEO. Uh, and, uh, and I would also just say that if there's any questions, concerns, or anything at all, um, that you would like to know more about Shippensburg Area School District, please don't hesitate to contact the staff here. And I look forward to meeting uh, everyone and getting to know everyone a little bit better. And guess what? We're not done just yet. One other story. Last night, our varsity softball team hosted Northeastern in the district corner final playoffs. After seven innings, the score was still zero to zero. So the teams went to extra inning to decide the game. Sophomore Katera Smith came to bat and watch what happened.
Wow. Talk about coming up clutch. Besides Cat's big hit, Sierra Bender shook out a season-high 17 batters with the win. The girls advance to the states and will host the District 3 semifinals here on Tuesday at 4.30 against Twin Valley. Best of luck, girls. Have a great summer, everyone, and as always. Stay classy, Shimmersburg, and have a great summer.